Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Welcome back to another Rune Factory 5 Let's Play. I'm so happy that this series is getting so many likes and comments, and I'll definitely keep it going. And hopefully finish the main story before the English version is out. Then I can share all the tips I learned with you guys. And let's get today's video started. You might be wondering why is Milky <laughs> replay the screen third because I was so silly last time after I finished recording. I forgot to save the file. I thought when we sleep it will auto save, but that seems to be not the case. So this time I will definitely remember to save the file. But another thing I noticed that's really cool is that we can keep hitting B, and then the character will actually automatically find out the next spot to water the crops. So it's really, really helpful. You can see that right now I'm just keeping hit. I just kept hitting B, and then the character is moving itself. This is actually a super convenient ability, and I will definitely use it a lot. I actually found out something I might miss last time. I heard a tip online that if we talk to Palmo, maybe we'll get able to get a free crafting table. Da da da! We did it! He said, "Wow! In order to celebrate our friendship, I decided to give you this uh, free、um, cooking table for you. Oh, thank you! The cooking table is right in front of、uh, our entrance. Please take home. <gasps> thank you so much! I can't believe I missed it last time. That's super useful that we can get a free crafting table." Um, I think I can hold it and then take it back home. So if you're playing it、uh, the first time、uh, by yourself, don't forget to grab this、uh, free crafting table in your first day. Oh, that was a heavy table! I can't believe the in-game Milky was able to hold it all the way back home. So I guess we can just put it anywhere in the yard. I'm just gonna put it right next to our farm for now. There we go! Tada! And maybe we can already start using it to craft some food. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, unfortunately, we don't have any recipe. I could potentially choose don't use recipe, but I guess I don't have any material yet either. Well, we'll figure something out. Hopefully, we can start cooking early in the game. Yippee! I finally refinished the first day, and now let's go to the chief's an office and、uh, to report to her about we finished the quest. Hello, chief. We said hello to everybody. Do you think you can become part of this town? Yeah, I think I can. Well, everybody is super friendly. <laughs> Okie dokie. It seems like the chief is really happy with our work, and she told me to go check the request board. And、uh, well, I also want to say hello to Priscilla. She's she's still yawning. It seems like she's always not don't have enough time to sleep. Poor poor Priscilla. Well, we should really really help her. Well, let's go and check the quest board. I heard that in the early game, doing a lot of quest board is super helpful and、uh, it's probably our top priority. So the first thing is, please open the lock. Okay, I think we're gonna accept the please open the lock. And then I wonder if we can accept two quests at the same time. The second one is a.、Uh, Create something the first time, and we need to talk to Eliza. Oh, there we go! We can actually do it. After we accepted the quest, it seems like we got a message from Livia, and she said, "Milky, when you read this letter, please go talk to Eliza. Eliza will talk to you about everything." Oh,、uh, okay. And、uh, Eliza said, "Huh? You got the request from Oli Livia? Yep." So our first creation is we can expand our backpack. That's great. And I already have a、uh, 50p, so I can expand it. Tada! Making. There we go. And my backpack's bigger. I can carry more stuff. That's great.、Uh, seems like、uh, we can keep collecting seed、uh, points and then use it to develop the town. It's kind of like the princess order, and I'm really glad they kept it. Tada! After I talk to Eliza, our quest is clear. But I wonder how do I get my rewards? Maybe I need to talk to the chief. Let's try that out. And then we also need to talk to Priscilla about her quest. Hello, chief. We finished your quest. How's your farming work? Well, I can do it. That's great. Hmm. Unfortunately, talking to chief surprisingly didn't help. She still doesn't give us the reward. And I also wasn't able to trigger the request by talking to Priscilla. And it seems like we need to talk to her when she's in front of the restaurant. So maybe we will be able to trigger it later. But first, we probably need to water all our. 
What's happening? Oh, I thought that they were they were dying, but I think they were just in the seed form. So I need to water everything, and then we can get started. Ta-da! As I was guessing yesterday, um, even though it didn't cost RP yesterday when we were watering, today, uh, every watering and uh, different actions start causing our stamina. So yesterday is actually a great chance to really really uh, hold everything and then put the seeds down. So we have a lot of energy saved for today. Actually, I think after I watered everything, I probably won't have any energy left. Uh, okay, we have a little bit left, but uh, tending the farm really isn't so super time consuming and I love that. Huh, interesting. I actually see a red mark on our map. So maybe the places with red mark is where we need to go in order to trigger some kind of a cutscenes. Oh, it's actually the restaurant. So maybe the red mark is the location for our quest. Let's take a look. Oh, there we go. I think that's us triggering the quest. And she says she can't open the door. Oh no, I wonder what happened. Maybe after we help her open the door, the restaurant will open up. That would be great. Oh, I really can't open. Did you lost the key? No, only my sister has the key. Oh, how about let's help you find your sister? Mm, my sister is in the shop, but she hasn't returned home for many days. That's scary. I think instead of asking me to open the door, maybe you should have asked everybody to help find your sister. Maybe something happened in the shop. So now I guess our quest is to help her open the door. Um, hmm, there's no responses. Priscilla, can I broke the door? Um, okay. Oh no! <laughs> our first task in town is breaking into a restaurant. Oh no! Oh, it hurts so much, but the door won't move. Oh, there we go. We have some people that come to help us. Martin says, what happened? Hey guys, please, please help us. Um, Priscilla's sister is inside, but this door is so sturdy that I can't broke it. There we go with Martin. Maybe he will be able to help broke it. And he said, move along. Is he gonna kick on it? Or use oh, he got a hammer. Okay, that should solve it. <gasps> Even he cannot broke the door, and he said, hmm, it's sturdier than it look. And the uh, dog's like, can I smash the door? <laughs> I think you can. Um, and she said, mm, may maybe. <laughs> oh, and even Luca is here. And he said, stop, stop. Is Luca gonna solve it? Oh, that's... Uh... It seems like our main character remember what we saw last night. Ah, you guys are so not smart. Um, are you? Is your brain made out of muscle? Ooh, <laughs> burn, Luca. Huh, you're just apprentice. Don't you teach me? Shut up. I'm smart, and I will be able to do big things one day. <laughs> oh, Luca. Maybe Martin and Luca really don't have a good relationship. What is Luca gonna do? Ah, I see. Oh right, Luca is the apprentice in the uh, wood shop, carpenter shop. So maybe he'll be able to solve it. Wow, he just opened it. Ta-da! Maybe Luca is really smart. Well, he's assassin, so well based on Miyuki's guess, so he must be good at opening doors. You opened it? Huh? It's such an easy lock. I can handle it super fast. Huh? That's awesome. You can be a thief anytime. Yeah, you should just be a thief. It suits you. Oh my god, they're really <laughs> mean to Luca. Hm, what you guys talking about? I already determined one day I'll be the best helper for Paramount. Oh, that's great. Well, thanks, thanks everybody. I'll pre prepare the gift for you. Well, it's just a piece of cake. Don't need to thank me too much. Hopefully we'll be able to see Priscilla's sister and hopefully she's okay. Sister? Oh, huh? I think I heard something. <gasps> That's her sister? It can't be. And she's like, Gaoku, Gaoku? <laughs> Just random noise. Oh, there we go. Another intro animation. <gasps> that is so cute. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I really like how high quality the intro animation is. Hello. And Priscilla is like, Fuka-chan. Oh, it seems like Fuka-chan doesn't speak. And uh, Fuka-chan, where's my sister? Oh, that's really what she's saying. Oh, but seems like Priscilla was able to understand Fuka. 
Huh? That's my guess. Oh, sister. Seems like Priscilla's kind of angry at her sister. Um, Priscilla, who is? Ah, this is your first time meeting Fuka, right, Milky? She works at the restaurant. She said, um, "Let's get along well." Oh, thank you, Fuka. Hmm. I wonder how Priscilla was able to understand her. Ah,、uh, yeah, it's really nice to meet you. Meet you. Um, how should I say nice to meet you? Should I say Guga? Or Awu? <laughs> oh, you can just speak normal. Oh, really? Fuka, Awu, Awu. <laughs> Hopefully, Fuka will be able to actually speak sentences, but it's really cute too. And、uh, Priscilla says Fuka says she already able to understand a lot of languages. That's great. Yeah, Fuka has been learning hard. No. I mean Priscilla. I'm so surprised that you can understand what Fuka is saying. Well, as long as you get used to it, you will be able to understand her too, Milky. That's great. Hopefully, I will be able to. You can't use your ear to listen to what Fuka says. You have to look with your eye. Use with my eye? That sounds hard. Oh, I really like like Fuka. She looks super cute, and she's like awu 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 awu. Hmm? Can you please say that again? And we were able to finally understand. She's saying, "What's your name?" But please say that again. What's your name? Oh no, we keep making Fuka say it. Oh wow! You are the first people who can understand Fuka so fast. <laughs> Priscilla's head twitches weirdly just before this frame. <laughs> Maybe that's an in-game glitch. <laughs> it really scared me slightly. Well, it's great that we were able to look at Fuka and the semi guess what she's saying. And Fuka saying, "Me and you were friends because we can understand each other." Oh, thank you, Fuka. My name's Milky. Let's get along well together, Fuka. Nice to meet you. Oh, isn't that human language? And then Fuka saying, "Yeah, human language. I'm learning from Priscilla." And we're learning Fuka. We're learning from Fuka how to speak Awu language. <laughs> and while we were talking with Fuka,、uh, a female showed up, and she seems really, really sleepy. Sister! Oh, I can't believe that's a.、Uh, finally, we met Priscilla's sister. Ah,、oh, Priscilla. Good morning. What? Good morning. You don't come home, and I worry about you so much. Oh, sorry. It's just so much work walking to home. <laughs> oh, her sister is funny. And Priscilla is like, fine. I will leave some notes. You should remember to read it daily, sister. Now let's introduce ourselves to the sister. I'm the new member of Seed Milky. Nice to meet you. Ah,、oh, why is everybody speaking so loud? Hmm, Milky is saying hello to you. You need to、um, get more energy, sister. <laughs> well, I'm Priscilla's sister, Elsie. I was forced to open this restaurant. <laughs> I was just trying to voice acting a little bit for the drowsy sister. And、uh, nice to meet you. Please help me with the restaurant. Oh,、uh, I can do. I cannot do that. <laughs> oh, the sister is super funny. And Priscilla seems to be sad and saying sorry for her sister. Well, here you go, Milky. This is the rewards for taking the quest. Oh, thank you. I wonder why I didn't get the reward for the other quest then. Hmm. Maybe I need to figure out where to get it. I see another marking on the map, so maybe that's our next quest. Let's just go take a look. I don't have too much farming work or other things to do, anyways. Oh, it's actually for home, so maybe we need to somehow talk to somebody to solve our first finished quest.、Mm, maybe it's、uh, with Eliza since he's shining up, and he says, "What do you want to do today?"、Mm, It's not that. I think we still need to talk to our chief. There we go. So surprisingly, last time it didn't trigger this cutscene, but this time when we entered, she said, "Oh, your quest is finished pretty smoothly. Yeah, that's great." Okie dokie. So Livia actually just gave me a small rundown about the quest system. There's a limit to how many quests we can get a day, but we can get quests directly from the villagers or from the board. And she gave me a little medal. 
So one tip I got online is also don't forget to equip this medal when you first got it. It can increase your stamina and it gives you a free chance to use the best. That's great. And uh, you you can only use it when you are a newbie in the game. So we're supposed to take it out when we get better ones, I guess. Well, there we go. Maybe we can go explore the town to see if there's anybody else that needs help. Ta-da! Or maybe we can get new quests. I think I already got all the quests that's on the board. Oh, there we go. That's my rewards. Finally! And lucky we got the new rewards. And this one is for how to set up our furniture. And it's by Luca. Well, I will definitely try it out. Oh, I just noticed something that's really weird. I don't know what happened, but my health is only 28. We almost died somehow by doing any, some quests. That is so odd. Ta-da! We were able to finish the quest from Luca, and we have another one from Paramore. So it seems like today is just uh, all kinds of introduction quests to teach us how to navigate through the game. So the rewards are usually adding items in the shop. For example, for this one, if we go and chop some woods, we will be able to get some new furniture in the general store. Ta-da! After I accepted the request, I actually got a free axe. So the quest for this one is just to uh, chop some woods in our farm. And then, uh, that should be it. Well, it's pretty easy peasy. And uh, somehow my stamina increased after I accepted, I accepted the request. So that's nice. After I finished the quest, he actually gave me a storage place for the wood material and the stone material. There we go! So I guess I'll put it by the farm too. That's where I usually put it. Uh, later in game when we have a lot of furniture, I should probably think about how I want to lay everything out. But for now, let's just uh, drop it somewhere. Ta-da! Like here. <laughs> oh, I'm just putting everything in our farm. <laughs> Cannot finish until tomorrow. So all Lucy want is just putting the turnip into the shipping box and tomorrow the turnip will be sold and we can get our rewards easy peasy. Oh, I still have a long long day left. I wonder how should I spend it. Maybe I will just uh, go and uh, clear up the farm a little bit and probably take a nap then. I was just thinking about before I go to sleep, I could chop some wood on the farm and then I used up all my stamina. And apparently I didn't get any alerts before I passed out and here we go. The, the screen went black and we woke up in the doctor's office. Hopefully they won't charge me a lot or there won't be super bad penalties. And she, here's Simona saying, you woke up? Ah, uh, you can't do this when you are HP. Oh, it seems like if we use up all our stamina and we're still working, it will decrease our health, and when our health becomes zero, we'll pass out and uh, be moved here. And the more we pass out, the more money we're gonna get charged. Okay. And Simona's saying, well, but I'm pretty happy that I got a chance to study your body. <gasps> That's scary. <laughs> and even though the health is really important, your stamina is also an important thing. If you use up all your stamina, you will start decreasing your health. Yes, gotcha, gotcha. Lucky, I feel like for today, she didn't mention whether we got charged or not. So maybe we did not get charged at all. Maybe I should check my video. But at least Simona didn't mention that I got charged today for passing out so early in game. So maybe the first time is free. Well, even though it's still early in the day, since we just passed out and we finished all the quests, I decided to take a nap and get some good rest. Ta-da! Another beautiful day in game, and hopefully we will be able to finish the quest we had yesterday. And let's check out our farm. That's the thing I'm most exciting about whenever I play a farming sim is how's my crop doing? It seems like our turnip is actually ready. That's great. And I'm just gonna hold it and mm, I think instead of shipping it, I'm gonna save it just in case we'll need it later. After playing tons of uh, farming game, I think one thing I that ma it made me learn is be a hoarder. Oh no! I uh, I just I accidentally chopped down the crop with my sword. Oh, that's really really bad. Well, be careful. Apparently, 
using a sword on our farm would make us lose a crop. Oh, that's really really dangerous. And it's really easy to switch up from the farm farming tour to your weapon. So I guess I need to be careful with that. Oh, my poor crop. It died before it, it even became mature. Well, anyways, I don't think we'll lose too much money. After finish some farming, oh, it seems like we have another marker and map in the hotel or the bathhouse. So let's go take a look, see if we have another quest that we can pick up and hopefully a lot of rewards waiting for us. Oh, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to cross. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Oh, what happened? Here is Hina crying when we enter the hotel. <gasps> Hina, sister, what's happening? Oh, and the... Uh, Murakumo seems really sad too. What happened? <gasps> Mom! Oh, it seems like she's dreamed of her mother. It has always been like this recently. We still haven't heard about uh, Hina's mother? Yeah, ever since you saved Hina, her mother got lost in the forest and we never heard from her again. Oh, that's so sad. Maybe she's still trapped in the forest. Oh, and Hina is still crying. Don't worry, Hina, we will find your mom. Oh, hopefully our next quest is helping Hina find her mom. I really want to help her. Really? Yeah, don't be sad. Just wait for my good news. Thank you. Oh, and uh, after that quest, seems like we can finally enter the forest and start some fighting. Okay, that's great. Um, maybe we could uh, fly to there? Automatically? Oh no, right now we still can't f fly to it yet. So I guess we need to go out by ourselves. <gasps> also from the mini map, map I saw dog. Hello dog. Yo. Oh, it's so cool to see dog uh, show up in Ruin Factory 5. <gasps> he looks kind of different. A lot more mature. Hi, can I speak to you for a little bit? Uh, sure. What happens? Yeah, sorry for suddenly call you. My name is dog. I'm a traveler. What about you? My name's Milky. Ah, Milky. Well, you should remember me, dog, from Rune Factory 4. <laughs> but I also restarted playing Rune Factory 4 because I want to see what happens in the end game. And maybe if I reach the end game, I will share with you guys what happens in my farm and how it looks at the end of Rune Factory 4. If you're waiting for Rune Factory 5's release, it's definitely a great game to play while waiting. And Dog said, Oh, Milky, sometimes I'll come to this town, but I feel like this is the first time I met you. That's why I ask you, well, maybe we'll meet again. Nice to meet you, Milky. Well, nice to meet you, Dog. I wonder whether we can marry Margarita or Dog in Room Factory 5. That would be really cool. Or they would just occasionally visit the town. Now, since we got the quest, let's go to the forest and try to save Hina's mother. Hopefully, we won't have a too strong uh, monster and kill us. Well, so far, so good. And we got level up again for walking. <laughs> I love how many level up I got a day. It usually happens only in early games for Rune Factory 5, and later it just gets harder and harder. Mm, I'm not sure which way to go. I think, okay, there we go, that way. Oh, so far I didn't get, oh, I see the red dots on the map are the monsters. Well, let's get fighting. No, don't fight me, Wooly. Let's see, oh, so far we're pretty strong. It's not too bad to fight Wooly. And uh, I think this must be the core where the monsters show up. So let's, let's try to get rid of the core. There we go. Oh, wow, the fighting actually doesn't feel bad bad at all. Usually, I'm really bad at fighting, but so far, I've been doing good. And uh, I wonder what we pick up. It seems like some kind of a chain or accessory. Oh, it's a lucky charm. Mm, it will be able to protect us slightly, so let me actually equip it. Hopefully, we'll be able to get more accessories while we're at it. Oh, wow. This must be a little cute woolly. That's super cute. Hello. <laughs> And I'm, I'm super happy to learn from the comments and while I was playing the game that we're actually not killing the monsters. So please don't feel bad. So for those woolies, we're just returning them to the origin forest. And uh, oh, there we go. I got some kind of uh, medicine. Oh, and uh, this is our 
I forgot what his, what his name called, but it's a little wolf. Well, so far the fighting has been feeling pretty smooth and uh, I like it. <laughs> I did saw some comments online saying that maybe Rune Factory fights uh, fighting is too easy, but for a casual player like, uh, for example, me, I, I, I like how I usually like the game's uh, fighting elements is a little bit easier and focus more on crafting and getting better relationship with uh, the town people. Let me know what you guys think. I know that some some people are worried about how easy it is. Oh, oh, this is the rune flower. There we go. We can get it. But we, hello, who are you? Oh, it's a male seed member. And they said they finished the trees that's blocking this area, and they got the materials back to Parmo's place. Okie dokie. I guess previously it was blocked, and we can save here. Well, oh, just in case you guys are curious, I think in total we can have a 20 save data, which is pretty good. So let's save in the save data 3. I usually try to save at least once per day, just in case we want to go back or mess something up, which in my case happens a lot. And here's the new forest that we unlocked. Hopefully we'll be able to find Hina's mother today. I'm really worried for her too. And here's the chest on there already. I'm ready to get it. Oh, there we go. This must be the chest we saw. Oh no, my chest. <laughs> oh, what's happening? This is where I pass out. Hmm, I remember I woke up because I heard the scream from Hina. Oh, is some kind of monster gonna show up? I heard some weird noise. Okay. Well, anyways, our main character heard some weird noise from that direction, so I'm gonna go and check it out. Oh, I got a shield! That's helpful. Let's get the shield equipped it, so we don't get hurt much. Okay, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to collect everything else too. We probably need a clothes and some hat to keep us safe. And we got a little tutorial about like similar to Rune Factory 4, some areas we can't continue go forward unless we kill all the monsters in the area, which makes perfect sense. Super smooth. I love how I can see where the monsters are. Oh wow, those monsters look scary. They look like giant beetles. Um, and uh, one thing to be careful about is even though I usually try to kill the core where the monster comes from, are really fast, but sometimes it could cause the monsters to really really follow you, so be careful with that. And by the way, if you think the fighting in early game is too early or too easy, you can actually adjust how hard the game is from Eliza. So for some challengers, that might be a great way to make the game funner. But personally, I like the normal harness and I've been enjoying it. Oh, here. Hmm, seems something is blocked. Can we can we go there? Hmm, maybe we need to finish uh, other quests in order to explore that area. Wait, look at this cave. It looks pretty cool. So maybe this is the next area we need to conquer. Well, let me get rid of this core first. I was able to level up so much today by just fighting the monsters outside. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up more items too. I also got a lot of seeds, so I want to definitely want to go back home and put the seeds down today. Oh wow, the goblin is actually really strong. I, this is the first monster I wasn't able to quickly chop down. Maybe I'm out of the area, the beginning, beginner area or something. Also, so far, <laughs> by keep attacking the monsters, I didn't even give them a chance to attack me. So I haven't been able to use the dodge, but definitely I think later when we start fighting the bosses, we'll be able to, we will need the, the dodge. And tan -tan, it seems like we just got our first magic ability or rune ability. Oh, where is it? It says I need to equip it. Also, I think my, my bag might be full already. That is so fast. I'm not sure how to equip it yet though. Oh, there we go, on the side. This is my first ability, and then I'm gonna equip it by hitting Y. So before we can use it, we need to equip it on either Y or X. 
Let's try it out. Oh, that's super cool. And it will use a little bit of RP, but not too much. So, so far, so good. And, uh, hmm, I wonder what's this area. Oh, it's the deepest part of the forest. Since there's a saving point here, if we go further, it's probably a boss fight. But unfortunately, I think that's the time for our today's episode. The next episode, I will definitely try to fight the boss. And hopefully, I pray that we won't die when fighting the boss. I remember when I was fighting my first boss in Room Factory 4. I definitely got beaten up and died in my first try. So hopefully, we'll be able to win. Well, I definitely hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know what you guys think about the Ruin Factory's fighting system. So far, I really enjoyed it, but I probably will find out more once we get into boss fight. And as always, thank you guys so so much for watching and special thanks for my awesome Patreon donors. You guys are the best and I'll see you guys next time.